Senna. Pals. We're going to look at Fallout cast answers Fallout's most Googled questions by Wired. Here we go. I Googled, how can I play Fallout uh-huh. Uh-huh. online? You thought this should be a website that you could go to. Yeah, I was like, <laughs> www.fallout.com yeah. and was surprised. I learned that you, you can't, can't play it online. Can't. Hi, Wired. We are the cast of Fallout, and uh, we are answering the most Googled questions about Fallout. Okay, here we go. <laughs> That's cute. How's this gonna go? <laughs> when did the bombs drop in Fallout? Oh, Ooh. this is wow. contentious. Like yeah. 2077. 2077. 2077. That's 2077. easy. Got that one. Did yeah. you just, just throw like it on that. the ground? That's what we do. Yeah. <laughs> That's how we do. We're in Fallout. Do you know the, do you know the How many one? vaults in Fallout? How many vaults are in Fallout? Well, you're in vault. How do you know? 33. There's at least 33. <laughs> yeah, at least. There's at least 33. There's at least 33. Okay, there's 33 that we know of. Well, they showed the map of all the vaults in one scene. I mean, I imagine if you're watching this, you've seen the show at this point. And so spoilers are... Abounding. Abounding. I was going to say a do, but I'm like, that's totally the wrong word. <laughs> they showed them all across America. There was way more than 33. At least that was the plan. Mm. We're actors. We're not writers. I think it's 122. Can we guess? Can we guess? 122? You think so? <laughs> I think it's 122. Wow, that's a lot. I don't know my lines, but I know that. Yeah, how do you know that? It's Fallout TV show canon. It's a story within the Fallout universe that fits in the canon of Fallout, but it's not based or predicated on one of the Fallout um, uh, games. That's, good. That's accurate. Good answer. Wow, look at him. Well done, Walton Goggins. He knows his shit. He <laughs> doesn't know Isn't how many vaults yeah. there are, apparently. There we go. My turn. Thank you so much, by the way, for making these words so big because I usually need glasses. Uh, how big would a real life vault tech vault from the Fallout universe be? Ooh, great I question. I don't know that question. one. How big would a real life vault tech vault be? How many Let's, people live in a vault? Uh, you a know, lot. I mean, there are, there are a number 30. of streets. There's a high street, <laughs> right? You got a couple of neighborhoods, right? And it supports about... It's a little town. Like 300, 300 Three, people? Three, 400. Three, yeah. 400 people? So let's go with like the size <laughs> of like... Oh, what's, oh, what's our actor's name who plays Maximus again? He just looks so scared <laughs> of saying the wrong thing. What's his name? I forgot. Aaron. Aaron? Okay. An Amazon warehouse? <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I'm going to go like... Yeah, uh, probably. Let's go 50,000 how... square feet. Yeah, 50,000 square feet. 100,000 square feet. <laughs> what is that in square meters? Yeah. I don't know. I live in America. <laughs> who are the good that's, guys? That's in a good Fallout? American answer. I mean, it depends who you ask. Yeah. Villains probably become the heroes that become villains and then heroes again. There's mm-hmm. a lot of gray yeah. area. A lot of gray area. Who are the actors? Much like live. TV show. <laughs> bow, bow, bow. <laughs> this is us. This is, we did it. We did next. Uh, I play Maximus. He's Aaron Moton. What? Uh, I'm Elephant L. I play Lucy. I, I'm uh, Walton Goggins, and I play the ghoul. How about that? Mm-hmm. The irradiated ghoul. Why does Lucy leave the vault? Um, Just watch the show. To get to the other side. To get to the other side. She has a mission that she has to complete somewhere else. Mm. What's the mission? I can't say. <laughs> I'm not Man. at liberty to say. Don't say me, Don't say me Or Fallout, Ghouls, Immortal. Oh, I want to wow. know this. Wow. Uh, you know, I, I don't know the answer to that to that question. I th- I know that I've lived for 200 years. It's a very long time. But you can die. I think, yeah, I think, yeah, you can die. Yeah, ghouls die. Yeah, the ghouls die all the time. All the time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, this there we one, go. This one just hasn't yet. It's in my contract. He <laughs> <laughs> lives uh, to, uh, 205 years. <laughs> <laughs> What is Mr. Handy in Fallout? Am I right in thinking that's the robot? You know, he's a pretty cool robot, he too. He is, actually. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He's and one the of the first characters of... you meet in the game, or in Fallout 4, the game that I played. Wait. And it's a really good intro oh. to Oh. Fallout. Yeah. Is that Snip oh. Snip? Oh. There should be, like, a whole, like, Twitch stream or YouTube cut of her Let's Play for Fallout 4. We missed out on a whole bunch of content. As soon as she was in talks with Amazon at all, that should have been just part of the contract. Like, you also have to play Fallout 4 and live stream that shit, or it's going to be on YouTube, etc., etc. You know what, though? Many good actors will play the game or do some research before they even audition. So she seems like someone who probably does her homework. I'm sure the entire cast of God of War played games beforehand before getting involved in the acting of those games. I'm sure everybody on the cast of Mortal Kombat played Mortal Kombat before doing the movie. I'm just saying, you know, yeah, Pedro Pascal she seems like an actress who does he, he her He plays homework. Last of Us on hard extreme mode. You don't have to play it on hard extreme mode. I'm you just, just have to play you. it on easy mode. Oh, yeah, get what am I thinking? Out of, get it out of here. <laughs> Is Maximus in the Brotherhood of Steel? 
Yes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Spoiler. Easy. Easy. Oh, I'm offended. It exists in the Fallout universe. Oh. No. no. Yes, no. but not at all. No. 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 Good luck. No. Is Wasteland in the Fallout universe? Yeah. Wasteland is in the yeah, Fallout Wasteland universe. Wasteland it's a very, very big part yeah. of uh, the Fallout universe. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. The Wasteland, uh, as far as we know it, I mean, we're the first season takes place in Los Angeles. Mm -hmm. We can say that, but it could be all over the world. Probably is all over the world. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and uh, we will explore the entire world in the ten seasons that we do the show. <laughs> <laughs> Please so hire me. <laughs> <laughs> Who is the dog in Fallout? In the game. It's dog meat. Yeah. Dog, dog meat. Yeah. Yep. In the show, he CX, is CX404. CX404. CX Nailed yeah. it. But yeah. also, okay. can I just the ghoul I love, I love, I love how I, I love how Walter Goggins did that. It's like the name of the dog is. Oh. Dog meat. But in the show, the name of the dog is uh, CX404. CX I knew it. <laughs> You f***ed up this whole game, Achara. I didn't know what game we were playing. <laughs> yeah, well, we've answered a lot of these questions correctly. Yeah, we have. Yeah, we're doing pretty good here. Is there it's a score? Bad. Don't jinx it. No, but there should be a score. We're against we're very competitive cast. Oh, nah. we, we like everything to be a competition. We're winning. Is Fallout TV show based in California? It is. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, this is a hot one. What creature would be the most dangerous in the Fallout universe? This one, probably. Right Lucy. Here. Mm -hmm. Ooh, I'm a creature. Oh. <laughs> I'm a, a reptile. Gulper. There's a lot of. I mean, in Fallout, the game, what, the show is different, right? But the gulper, the gulper is gulper, one. Yeah, yeah, what yeah. What about your guy? Yeah. A Yao guy is yeah. That's pretty formidable. Why? You know, dog meat. Your, <laughs> your dog meat's pretty guy. formidable. Yeah. You know, like let's oh, just just right. your basic Belgian mal Malawat. Yeah. yeah he's, that's right. he's he's that's pretty dangerous. Oh, the, we forgot about the death claw. We forgot about the death claw. The death claw <laughs> the is. The death claw? Can, What's uh, that? Invoke death. <laughs> <laughs> Did we see that? Ooh. Oh, can maybe uh, the fallout ghouls reproduce? Oh, I want to wow. know. Wow. Uh, <laughs> not ready for prime time on this one. Mm. Uh, you know, I. I highly you know, Googled. Highly Googled. <laughs> highly uh, Googled. You know, I, I, I. Maybe there could be like a ghoul baby. I mean, we didn't come across <laughs> any ghoul babies. I think there has been any ghoul baby. <laughs> I he love really the wanted it to be true. I love the optimism there. <laughs> Perhaps there could be a ghoul baby. And then it comes out looking like a ghoul. That would be awful. Yeah, that's why you don't have vampire babies. Mm. Does the sperm be dead? Uh, as far as I'm aware, vampires do not reproduce. Cause, like, Even if you make a baby at night or try to make a baby at night, no, it wouldn't work? it doesn't work that way. In the casket? No. Right after, like, sucking some blood? No, oh, it okay. doesn't right. work. The only reason why it worked in Twilight is because she was human first. And he's made of sparklies. No, no be. ghoul babies. I don't know that the ghoul that I play has ever uh, engaged in uh, a reproductive uh, exercise. So I don't, I don't know. Mm. What Fallout <laughs> game is the hey, show based on? to be fair, he's totally eaten ass. That's true. He's totally eaten ass. You don't make babies by eating ass, though. It's a part of the process, if you're doing it right. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't lived until you eat some ass. <laughs> <laughs> what Fallout game is the show based on? It's not based on uh, any of the games except the world of all the games. <laughs> this is an original story that takes place in the world of Fallout. In the world Nine of Fallout. years after Who's Fallout. Who's the girl in Fallout? Okay. It's me. <laughs> I'm a girl. Hey, whoa. My name's Ella. I play Lucy. I'm a girl in Fallout. <laughs> you are. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. Did I get you? <laughs> I, I want to do, do something kind of different. When does the Fallout TV show take place? Oh, the bombs fell, 2077. 219 19 years, years after, after that. 2077. 219, is that right? 219, that's what it is. 219. So that would okay. make it 2277 <clears throat> plus 19 would be 97 <laughs> minus one. That's how I do math. Mm. I don't, what? what? So, uh, <laughs> two, uh, two, uh, 20, 2296. <laughs> wow, at least it's Who accurate. Who in Fallout TV show? Aaron Moten. <laughs> Mm. He's amazing. He's amazing. <laughs> uh, no, I, I, I play the ghoul. I play the ghoul uh, in in the Fallout TV show. I've got great makeup on, but mm. I really look like the ghoul underneath this makeup. <laughs> <laughs> Who is overseer in Fallout TV show? Oh, oh, the overseer is played by Carl McLaughlin, and right. he is called Hank. 
Yeah. And he's my dad. He's her papa. Not in real life. In the show. He's, he's a, a what great an amazing, guy. What an icon. <laughs> I he's love an him. Icon. He's an incredible actor. We're very, very lucky he's to have him. He's a good guy. Thank you, Kyle. Thank you, Kyle. For coming Kyle? on board. He's not here. He decided yeah, he not to show up. Because <laughs> we're all that matter. Why does Fallout look like the 50s? I'm pretty sure in the Fallout world, uh, micro processors were never invented. So futuristic things, the way people saw them in the 50s, it's kind of the design of the show. Yeah. But when Fallout was made, they pulled elements from all kinds of different reference points to make their look. It's retro futuristic and nostalgic. Yeah. Retro futuristic. Mm. Are there any female ghouls in Fallout? Yes. Ooh. You would know the answer to this question. There are female ghouls. Yeah, they do. Yeah. 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 They exist. Yeah. Are there, why is this one of the most Google questions? Are there any horses in the Fallout universe? This is just me Googling. Because we want it to be Red Dead Redemption so Fallout. I, that would I be an interesting the, and I w combination. I would love to see a two-headed, three-headed horse. I, I don't know. It would be mutated. It wouldn't look like a horse. No. no. I mean, I, I, if, you know, the ghoul's been around for 200 years. What and, have you seen? Uh, you would think that he would have picked a horse instead of walking. <laughs> uh, it's a lonely yeah. wasteland. I don't know that there are horses. I'm going to say no. I'm going to say no. I don't. I'm not. No. I don't know, but I'm going to yeah. disagree. That seems like a missed well, what's opportunity. What's the armor in the Fallout TV show? We have a few models, but our main model is a T60 power armor suit. Mm. Wow. Did you? Did it make you feel? Was it? Was it? Of course. Was it you, cool? you put any part of that armor on, and people yeah. move out of your way. Man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. That's cool. Yeah. Yeah. Oh man. Excuse I'd love me. To I want one. One. One of those suits. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> what are gulpers in Fallout? What are they really? I mean, I know they're sort of irradiated. Like, like water creatures. They're human. They're huge catfish. <laughs> Right. They're really, really big catfish. But they're but blended really with, messed up. Blended with? Blended with... Uh, they're kind of buff, though. Yeah, they're, yeah, like they're, they're, they're buff. buff. They're kind yeah. of blended with humans. Yeah, they have yeah. arms. They're, they're, they're like yeah. people. They're weird. They're weird. There's someone mm -hmm. out there that thinks gulpers are hot. I'm yeah. just putting that out there. Yeah, yeah. I'm sure. How to become That's a ghoul in Fallout? Well, you got to have a great agent. <laughs> <laughs> you know, for me, it's CAA. Uh, you know, it's it's through radiation. Shout out to CAA. So everyone kind of has that uh, potential or fate, I suppose, if you live long enough, living in a, a radioactive world or an irradiated ir 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 world <laughs> that you can kind of Google. Irradiated. You too can Irrigation Google. world. It takes about if three hours in the chair. believe in yourself. Yeah. <laughs> Was Bethesda involved in... Ah, Fallout TV show. Oh, Todd Howard and Jonah Nolan are the whole conversation that started the entire process of creating yeah. our show, Fallout. But this is very much involved, and I think they're really happy with this show. Oh, do you? I do. Oh, do you? No, do you <laughs> think <laughs> that we will get... You know, I think that you can see that because the quality of the show is so strong. Last of Us, while... I didn't like love it, you know, I appreciated it and I, I appreciated its effort to please the fans and, and still tell a good story. Mm -hmm. And part of that was because you had people from the game involved in making that show come to life, you know, yeah. and bringing it to life. And I think that actually, you know, having the confluence of creativity there is the best way to go about it. Get other Bethesda games for free. Oh, like, it's we like should some ask swag, them. you know, like a couple of I things. Some Bethesda swag. Hint, hint. <laughs> <laughs> How many questions? <laughs> He's done. I was like, what I want to go home. Is it deck of cards? Is it deck of cards? Guys. How realistically do you think the Fallout universe portrays a post-apocalyptic world? I'd like to like have dinner with the person that actually Googled this. This is a very it's serious a big question. I like question. it. Yeah. It's really, yeah. Well, I think it depends. Um, on what's called the apocalypse, right? This is very specifically a nuclear apocalypse. Yeah, very that's right. specifically yeah. what makes Fallout is the, the two headed cows and the retro futuristic vibe and, you know. And the reorganization of people, you know, yeah. the, the clan formation right? that happen. There's some things that I think are extremely very realistic. realistic. Yeah. Ooh, I think I, so. I, and I, and I, I think it bears kind of repeating, like, because it's a serious question. So many of the locations that we went to photograph even in Namibia were uh, real. Yes. Right? So 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 much of it is, is not green screen. And uh, so it feels very tactile mm -hmm. and real. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's for you. That's an interesting this is notion. The of steel e so he's basically saying that there wasn't as much use of green screen as there could have been. Yeah. Or the 
What's that called? The thing oh, they used yeah. on Mandalorian. I was going to say the say the cycle. I was going to say the void, and that's definitely not no. it. But you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. The same thing they used for Avatar: The Last Airbender, and they yeah. keep using it on so much stuff. And I kind of hate it now because Mandalorian was the only perfect use for that. Yeah. You know, y'all know what I'm talking about. Volume. The volume. This was shot more so on location, which I think greatly lent itself well to feeling authentic and real. Yeah, you, you can know? feel that when you're watching stuff. Like you can kind of feel when it's, you know, the volume or a set. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, Tangible. it's all a set, yeah. right? But you can feel it when it's like on location. Yeah, it there's, a, there's a tangibility to it. Yeah. Evil. Another big question. Very, Boy, very well, big question. Yeah. I believe the Brotherhood of Steel believes that everything <laughs> they're doing is right and just, and that they are the good guys. You take the last one. Oh, uh, <laughs> I feel like he doesn't by the end of the turn, show. Uh, feral. The answer is absolutely. I, mean, I haven't yet. Lucky, I suppose. But uh, there are a lot of. Uh, That's kind of a spoiler in the show. It's pretty. It's pretty gnarly, huh? Mm -hmm. It's you, rough. You experience them. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. rough. Yeah. Yeah, you do not want to get on the wrong side of a feral ghoul. I think feral ghouls give all ghouls a bad name. <laughs> I agree with you. I absolutely agree with you. Feral ghouls give good ghouls. It's hot out here, Bad for a This is getting weird. This is getting weird. Aww. I feel like Aaron was either just not prepared for this, or he, he just didn't want to say the wrong thing. Because yeah. he was the most quiet amongst the three of them. I was like, dude, say something, man. Come on. All of his answers were very, very safe. Very safe. Yeah. But you know what? It's hard out here. For a ghoul. <laughs> For a ghoul in yeah. the world of the internet. You say one wrong thing, everyone's like jumping down your throat. Ah, you didn't do your research. How could you? Blah, 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 blah. True that. True that. Yeah. I enjoyed that. And I thought that that was somewhat enlightening. A lot of that stuff is covered just in the show itself. If you yeah. watch it, you get a lot of that answered right away. But people want to know. Specifics. Do the cast know? That's fair. That doesn't matter too much to me. It's like, I don't care if Gary Oldman understands like all the issues of Batman. I just want him to play a good commissioner Gordon when he shows up to set True. or likewise for any you know superhero character but it was fun nonetheless I think Walter Goggins made that you know a lot more fun than it otherwise could have been Walter Goggins makes everything yeah more fun Ella Purnell demonstrated that as long as you're polite about it you can throw things at people so oh yeah <laughs> that was fun anyways you guys thanks so much for hanging with us I'm Jabby Kawai this is Achara Kirk peace out